Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at dark matter. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to take you through a specific argument which is going to explain why dark matter is thought to exist. So the first thing we need to be aware of is that galaxies rotate about their cores. This means that the stars within the galaxy also rotate with varying orbital speeds. And this part here is quite key to the argument. It says that stars on the outer arms of a galaxy should travel slower than those closer to the galactic core as they are further from the centre of mass and therefore experience a smaller gravitational force of attraction. So we're saying that the stars on the outer arms of the galaxies, say here and over here and so on, should travel slower than the stars closer to the core of the galaxy. And we're saying that is due to a smaller gravitational force of attraction on the arms. And that should hopefully make sense. So we've got a galaxy here rotating about its core and the stars on the outer arms should be travelling slower than the ones closer to the centre. It then says that the mass of a galaxy can be estimated from the orbital speed of the stars within it. This is done by measuring the redshift and blue shift of the light coming from the stars. So it seems a bit strange but we can actually get an estimate for the mass of the galaxy from the speeds of the stars. Now relating back to this point here about stars travelling slower on the outer arms, it says that observations of the orbital speed of stars within galaxies show that stars in the outer parts of galaxies are moving much faster than they should be for the mass that is visible to us, as shown in the graph below. It then says that for the mass that we can observe, those stars should escape the gravitational pull of the galaxy and fly off into space. However, something is preventing them from doing so. So here is a graph showing you this anomaly, this difference between what we expect and what is actually observed. So here's rotation velocity of the stars against distance from the galactic centre. So close to the centre, we see a sort of linear increase in the rotational velocity of the stars up until a point here where they're then at their maximum rotational velocity. And then as we get further and further away from the galactic core, which is in the middle, we expect the speed of the stars to then drop off like this. And that is due to the amount of mass that we can visibly see. However, what is actually observed is more of a sort of levelling off in the rotational velocity of the stars, which is what this line here is showing. So there's therefore a big difference in the orbital speeds, and astronomers attribute this difference to dark matter. So it says lastly that astronomers concluded that there must be a considerable amount of matter in galaxies that we cannot see. We call this dark matter. So to summarise this briefly, dark matter explains why there is a difference between what is observed and what is expected for the orbital speeds of stars within galaxies. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.